Well hello again and welcome to the VK6CS amateur radio channel. Now uh, I'm actually leaning over this because it's very bright out here in the backyard um, and I'm hoping this is focusing. Now I've converted my random wire, uh, random length wire antenna into a delta loop configuration. Now to do that I had to cut about five meters of wire off it so instead of being 57 meters long it's actually 52 meters long and um, around 52 meters long. I've measured it but uh, that's about the length of it and I'm just having a look what it's like on the, I've got it connected to the the U-kits there now is it going to refocus? I didn't really want to do that because this is I've had problems with the focusing on this camera. There we go. Okay. Now as you can see, it doesn't like it at all. SWR is I can't read that. I think it's saying greater than nine and the impedance is greater than 350 ohms. Now remember this is a random length wire delta loop. Now you see a lot on the net about uh, calculating lengths for delta loop antennas. We still got it. Um, and uh, there's a lot of uh, delta loop calculators and I think the the correct length for a 40 meter um, uh, band delta loop is something like 43.14 meters of wire. Okay so just for fun I'm just going to open the sweep width. See the sweep width is only 500 kilohertz there, SW at the bottom left hand side of the picture. I'm going to increase that sweep width and see if I can find where this antenna is happy. Oh, this is not easy. As soon as I move I can't see anything. There we go. Is that still focused? Yeah it's so bright unfortunately out here I can't really see anything. But anyway I'll persevere. So let's change it to 1 meg, 2 megs. 5 megs. Oh, so we're starting to see something appear there. So the sweep width of 1 meg. I don't think we can see anything, can we? No. Okay, so I'll change that sweep width to 2 megs and we can just start to see something there. And it's lower in frequency as we'd expect because uh, remember 43.14 meters is an optimal length for um, 40 meters which is 7 megs. That's going to be a lower frequency that one. And you know, what have we got there? Oh we've got a few there. All right well that's with a 50 meg sweep width. So let's bring it down to a 20 meg sweep width. Now let's just see where those two dips are. So one's about six megs by the look of it. I could open that sweep width out just a bit and have a look at it. But what I want to do is I want to find out where this other one is. There we go. Ah, uh, 11.393 is that? So if I, op if I open the sweep width out so 11.593, it's quite happy there, well, it's happier anyway. Got another one here. What's this one? This is about 17. So it's happy in the spots where we don't really need it to be happy. another one there. So if you look at the impedance I mean it's still still way out there and the SWR is still quite high because the impedance is up but the um, that can be matched with the ATU. It's just showing that it's quite you know it's it'll probably radiate more efficiently where these dips are what well it will in fact than where there's no dip. So it's just a case of matching that impedance 
You see that? I can't bloody see it. You see that frequency there, which is 17.693. Okay. And you can see as we get higher in frequency, the bandwidth, see the bandwidth of these dips, the, the width of them, increases. Because uh, the higher in frequency we go, um, the, uh, the larger the antenna appears. So the more bandwidth we get. So here, frequency is this, 5.993 megahertz. Okay, so what I really need to do is to shift all these dips up. Either shift them down um, so that that 5.993 megs there is um, on uh, 80 meters, 3.6, something like that. Or uh, by putting a coil in and making it electrically longer or shorten it and move that so that that first dip is on something like 7.2 megahertz. Um, by doing that it's going to work well on uh, on 40 meters and um, also we have a chit chat channel on 80 meters which is 3.605 which is the um, which is half of that frequency so it's probably going to be a bit more efficient on that frequency as well so I think I might try that um, I'll decide which one to try whether to shorten it so that it starts that that first dip there is on uh, on 7.7.2 uh, or I'll stick a coil in it so that the first dip is on 3.6 <laughs> but um, if I change the sweep width again and I change that down to bringing it down now we can see it a little more clearly there we go Almost, almost in the middle. That wasn't bad, considering it was pretty narrow when I started looking at it. But we can see, you know, that the it's quite happy at that uh, at that frequency, 5.993. It's still giving an SWR of 2.8 and an impedance of 143 ohms. But you can see by the dip that the antenna does actually quite like that frequency. That's absorbing some uh, absorbing some energy. So um, I'll uh, let you know what I decide to do uh, later on, and whether or not uh, whether or not it works reasonably well. So I'll either make it electrically longer with a coil, or I'll shorten it so that first dip goes from being on 5.993 megs to 7.2 megs. All right. Well, uh, as always, thanks for watching. I'll catch you next time.